What is going on, everybody? We are back with week five. Just came off of that tough EA aggressive catch loss. So the immediate thing, I'm playing these games like back to back to back. As soon as I finish, I go right into another one. As soon as that game ended, I went ahead and got a new corner. We got Xavier Rhodes. I remember his like elite being pretty good last year. He's a six foot plus corner. He's got decent speed. So I went ahead and got him. Just something to calm down these aggressive catches. As you can see, we we're definitely playing a better overall team. He's got 90s, Antonio Brown, and this and that. So he definitely has the better overall team. Hopefully we're going to be able to perform, though, and do what we have to do. Because I've been running into a lot of teams better than mine, but we've been able to persevere. So we, hopefully we can keep it. I was right here on fourth down. I didn't see that guy sitting in that spy. And he bats down our in route. So on fourth down on our first uh, drive, he already has the ball inside our own 30-yard line. So it's not a good look on third and 11. As he uh, drops back to pass, he throws an incomplete pass. As he kicks it, and he just misses it. So we got basically we just hit the reset button. Our first drive didn't even mean anything with him missing that field goal. We got the ball right back where we did, and we're gonna try to get into the end zone. As I've been telling you guys since day one, if you are not running screens, run them. As we uh, rip off a nice long screen touchdown right there. So we're up 7-0. It's like we never misconverted that fourth down. As he goes up for it, and wow, Xavier Rhodes actually batted it down. I don't know if that was Xavier Rhodes. Maybe I just pressed the right button. It was right there. We jumped the route. We're looking good. We can go up 14-0, 10-0 right here. Whatever it is that we're going to be able to do, we need to go ahead and do it. As we try to get loose right there with four set on the run, we pick up a little bit on fourth and 15. I decide to go for it. I don't know why. I toss it up. We don't get it. So that's two fourth down conversions. That looking back on it now, I probably shouldn't have gone for, but we did. Too late to dwell on it now uh, as he's driving right here. He's uh, worked his way inside the red zone. He's looking, and my guy just kind of doesn't step up like I thought he was to pick that route off. So it's 7 7 right now. We're trying to drive downfield and get into the end zone right before halftime as Odell gets super loose right there, jukes him out, and we're into the end zone. So he's got 30 seconds left, all of his timeouts. You already know what's coming. Not the aggressive catch. He just straight up dots us up. That verticals play is so dirty this year because it just distracts the safety. If you're in cover three, it's pretty much a wrap. You need to be in cover four or two man under or you will always get dotted. But we're going to try to respond right here. We definitely feel kind of salty that he was able to score that quickly without us being able to get a stop. As we dump it off to Bo Jackson right there. We're trying to get it in the end zone, but I think we go ahead and settle for three right here. So we go up into halftime, up by three. We played a really shitty, just terrible first half as far as like ball management going. Going for it twice on fourth down, giving him the ball in good field position. Not punting when I should have, not playing smarter on defense and offense. Just wasn't a great first half, but we're making up for it on defense right here. We get a huge interception, trying to take it all the way back, but we get hocked down inside the 10. But it was a good user pick. We can turn it into a touchdown. We're going to be looking even better, which is what we do. So now we're up by 10. And we're looking good as the video just finished uh, rendering for you guys. As he chucks it up deep for the aggressive catch. And oh man, he overthrows it. Made me real nervous every time I see that go up. On second and 10, we get a nice sack right there. Injury timeout. And on third and 19, we get back. Two back interceptions, which is huge. And at this point in the game, you already know what's going to happen. My man ends up quitting out. So we go ahead and give you guys a double header. As you can see, we're playing probably another team that's better overall than us. He's got the John Coon, the Lyman. So he's not looking too bad. But as I said, we've been playing teams better than ours. And we've been able to come up on top as long as we keep playing smart. As he tried to establish the run on third and four right here. Khalil Mack coming up huge, dropping back in that zone, getting that interception. Love that card. It's the only elite that we've got. As per, I always say, we run a screen right here, but he does a good job of covering it right there. He was using his uh, D lineman most of the time, so anytime I try to run a screen, he would just sprint his ass on out there. On third and 18, I decide, you know, we'll, we'll take our three. If I can run for all this 18, hey, I'll take it. But if not, we slide down with Teddy. We take our three. Because we came up with that uh, stop, I figured we could probably get another one. Is right here. If he would have kept running this all game, we would have had a problem. He ran triple option right there and got a huge gain. I think he ran it maybe one more time the, re the rest of the game and uh, never ran it again. Is right there we drop a user interception. Shake it off as on third and 12 right here. We bat down a pass and he decides to punt it. So I would have rather have the user interception, but we do come up with a stop. 
And all we need to do is just drive down and score a touchdown. We go up 10-0, and we get ball at half. So it's not looking too bad as we dump it off in the flats to Bo Jackson. Trying to make a move. We pick up on the sideline. And uh, we're driving. We're driving. We dump it off to Forsett. He's spinning. He's juking. He's spinning. He's juking. That guy just kept backpedaling. So I was like, let me see if I can shake him out the best I could. But uh, his guys come up and help him out. And they're able to uh, stop us. It's right there. We throw a dot. Dodge one. Spin out of bounds. We're just getting too juke happy right now. As we dump it to G-Jax. And actually, I thought he was going to drop that pass, but he was actually able to catch it and take it all the way into the end zone. It's right there. I don't know why my guy dove backwards. I don't know. Either way, we just got made to look real stupid right there, and he takes it in the end zone. So we're only up by three right now, and right there. Uh, I've been trying to lab um, that with my screen, like throw it to the other side when it looks open. I don't know what I was looking at, but we went up 10-0, and now we are down four. And we're just not in a good position again, playing stupid against these better overall teams. But luckily, we're able to rip off a huge 80-yard touchdown run um, because we were just playing stupid. We were in the driver's seat, and we just gave up 14 unanswered. Is right there. He tries to run the option again. We sack him, stripped, scoop it up into the end zone. So now... It's like we never threw that pick six. We're right back where we were. We're up by 10, and he throws another interception. So we're looking real good. The momentum is back on our side. The score is back to where it usually was. And you can already tell by him pausing the game. You already know what's going to happen. My man hits that quit button. He's out. And we come away with the win. It got a little close there. Um, I was real stupid. I could have played more flustered than that and going down. And giving up those 14 could have turned to 21, but we were able to right the ship, get right, do what we had to do. And we were able to get that win, so I appreciate it, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. Please follow the Instagram. The link is in the description. This should be Thursday's upload as we get closer into approaching our first playoffs. And hopefully we're able to win and go from there. So, again, appreciate it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, follow the Instagram. And as always, deuces.